Hello everybody, WJS Gamer 20 here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Kart 7 playthrough. In this video we are going to do the special cup, which as I said in the last video is my least favorite cup in this game. And you'll see why. So anyway, next character we're gonna use is Yoshi. And what would be a good cart for Yoshi? I mean, obviously, this one, because, you know, that just makes sense, so yeah, we'll use the egg one, which is also a vehicle in Mario Kart DS, and it's one of the best vehicles in that game, but, um, you know, it doesn't act like the same, I mean, the wheels that would obviously be more like the wheels and Mario Kart DS version of this vehicle would be prob would be these. Yeah, that just kind of looks the same as the other egg one, but we're not gonna use those because we've already used them. And the speed's pretty low. Um, we'll go with the yeah, we'll go with the wood tires. And we'll use... I only have three more gliders left. We'll use this one. So let's do these special cups. In this cup we have DK Jungle, Rosalina's Ice World, Bowser's Castle, and R Rainbow Road. So first we have DK Jungle, which is a returning track and it came back in the latest Mario Kart well I guess the latest Mario Kart would probably be Mario Kart Tour but let's say that Mario Kart 8 is the latest but this track did come back in Mario Kart 8 and it's obviously looks a lot more better in that game in my opinion it's honestly, it's honestly like one of the more tracks that I've played a lot in that game. Like I've played that course so much and I don't get why. It's because I, I've been playing online and people just keep on taking that one. Um, this part is actually an anti-gravity section in Mario Kart 8. The, this part here with the big banana. So yeah, not really a whole lot to say about it. So now I'll get into the um, discussion of why I don't like this track. So it's because of Rainbow Road. I wish Rainbow Road would have more railings so that you couldn't like fall off. But fortunately it doesn't look like there is. But the Rainbow Road in this game is honestly pretty cool. I think my favorite overall will probably be Mario Kart 8 because I think it looks really cool. I wish they would give it a different name, like Rainbow, like this Rainbow Road could be called Rainbow like Galaxy. Cause you kind of like go it kind of looks like a galaxy. And then the one in Mario Kart 8 could be called Mm, probably Rainbow Station. Because there is one part where you go through kind of like a station. Like, you know, the part with the, like, arrows that move backwards and forwards. That's kind of like a station. But I, I do really like this Rainbow Road. It's not like I just overall like um that Mario Kart 8 one. I still do like this one. 
So let's move on to the next course, which is Rosalina's Ice World. So it's just a track that's just ice themed, basically. We've got... God, in some of these courses, you have a lot going on. Okay, this is the part I don't like about this track, because you can get bumped off. And you could get a draft that makes you go into other people's items. And it's just like... Um... You've got these, like... I guess these are called icicles, I don't know. And then, yeah, you've got a part here where you have to be careful not to fall off the edge. I also want to throw this back, but I don't because that would be stupid. God, I need to start getting coins because I haven't got, like, any. But mainly I gotta focus on what's ahead of me. Did Wiggler just blow himself up with a bomb? Oh, um, if so, that's really funny. Also, I think that route that I just took is a bit faster than the other one. Because, like... Every time I've played this course and computer players went that way with the speed boosts, I've always then ended up in second. So I think that route's probably the best way to go. The music is also really gorgeous for this track. It's so like you also have to not fall off here because that you will be screwed. Oh, I nearly hit Daisy, but it's not like I needed to. Again, I think the reason why I'm in first a lot is just because of coins. But I couldn't really get a lot just because... Like, um, you know, there weren't really many coins on the track. I will say, these last two tracks are just too difficult. They look cool, but they're difficult. So next we have the Bowser's Castle of this game. And I... Not a huge fan of this one. It's just like... It's just hard for some reason. I don't get why, but it's just hard. Because you have these swamps crushing everyone. Somehow manages to crush everyone in front of me. I don't know how. I'll definitely go that way as well. That is the faster way. Do not go on those ramps because you'll get hit by the lava and you'll fall off. Yep, blue shell. Um, dodge there. Well, it's not really dodge, but I mean, it is kind of dodge. Because I dodged it, and I made someone else get hit by it, so it's technically a dodge. No, I was thinking about going to the shortcut, but too risky. And go the faster way, which is this way. Okay, I don't know what, why it's hard, it's just like, I just keep getting like, when I used to play this track, I will always play it as Toad, and I used to keep getting bumped off, 
because of how, like, for some parts, there were just, like, these parts where, like, there were no railings in the side, so I just fell off, and that's what screwed me, and that's what makes it kind of hard. Also, should be fine. Yeah, there's no one getting any items, so yeah, I'm fine. So that was Bowser's Castle. Not too bad, it's just, just don't know why, it's just hard. But Bowser's Castles are usually pretty hard anyway. So, now we have the Rainbow Road of this game. And as you can see there, there are no railings. And that's what I hate about this course, but either way it looks really cool. Also, is Yoshi a lightweight or is he a middleweight? He looks kind of like a middleweight, so I don't know. I just need to make sure I don't fall off, because that's how you do well on Rainbow Road, is not falling off. God, I don't like that part, that is really hard. Also, by the way, Mario Party Superstars is literally coming out tomorrow, and I'm so excited about it. I'll make a video later today about it coming out, just cause like, that just makes sense. Oh my god, I hate when that happens. Those so annoying. I just wish there were railings, but there are not. And this part is even more awesome because you, you're on the moon, I guess, and you also drive on Saturn, which I didn't mention, and obviously go on those because they'll make you go faster. And then go on the glider because that way this part is really hard if you don't go on the glider. Which I don't know if it was a good idea, but whatever. There we go, we won that. Again, it's just like, I just wish there were railings, but fortunately there are not too many of them. I mean, it makes sense why there aren't any, because it is the finale course. But you get the point, though, it is hard when there's no railings. So we got a three-star rank. And we get the credits, which we're not going to watch, because it just makes sense to save it to the end. Thanks, for playing. You're the best. Thanks Mario, but we're not done yet. Also, by the way, to get different title screens, you know, at the top screen, um, you just have to get a gold trophy on every cup on every engine class, I think. Yeah, pretty sure that's how you do it. So in the next video, we will be moving on to the retro cups now. So like, um, with other retro cups and other Mario Kart games, basically they'll have tracks that are from different Mario Kart games. And uh, we'll be taking a look at the first one, which is the Shell Cup, in the next video. So see you all for that. Bye, everyone.